A nationwide prescription drug shortage keeps getting worse. Tonight, the American Society of Healthcare Pharmacists says this is the largest shortage it has ever seen. Yes, yeah, so the group is now calling on the federal government to address the problem. And as 11 Alive's Brittany Klein Peter shows us, pharmacists and patients in the metro Atlanta area, they're hurting. Pill by pill. Pharmacists like Ira Katz are counting their blessings every time they're able to fill a prescription. We're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat. Tonight, the American Society for Healthcare Pharmacists say the nationwide prescription shortage is impacting more than 300 drugs, the highest amount they've ever seen. I've been practicing 45 years. I've never seen this before. It's been a year since Congress introduced a bill to prevent drug shortages. But Kat says he and his peers have only seen things worsen. You know, 20, 30, 40 phone calls a day on, you know, do you have this or do you have that? From generic to brand names like Zoloft, Ozempic, and Adderall, Kat says no drugs seem to be immune from the shortage. And we just had a phone call five minutes ago about uh, some of these, uh, like, Zepbound, Manjaro, Ozempic. They're in terrible short supply. About a month ago, the Federal Trade Commission, alongside the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, launched a request for information, saying the inquiry would look at the factors surrounding drug shortages, scrutinize the drug middleman, and tackle health care monopolies. But despite that, tonight, the ASHP is demanding that federal policy change to address the crisis. And many pharmacists and patients are counting on the change. But uh, I've never seen it like this before. Just ahead at 6, I'll break down which drugs are being most impacted by these shortages. Reporting in Atlanta, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.